Greetings and welcome back to the Galley of the Sun. I was perusing the interweb and uh, came across something interesting. So, I love a good cheeseburger. Who doesn't love a good soup? Found a recipe for cheeseburger soup. So I read it and uh, thought, you know, maybe this has potential. We're gonna find out today. Uh, I added some seasonings to it. I changed around some of the ingredients and uh, their amounts, which by the way are all down in the description section, and thought, hey, love the, let's give this a try. So two of the ones that I wondered about, I'm gonna keep them in this and we'll see how they do. Carrots and celery. So let's get it going. First of all, what we need to do is to brown up our bacon and get it good and crispy. So I have a Dutch oven behind me. I'm gonna get that on medium high heat and I'm gonna start uh, crisping up this bacon and then we'll get the rest of the preps done. So really, actually, technically, since it is cheeseburger soup with bacon in it, we're gonna call it bacon cheeseburger soup. Because we can. First of all, celery. We're gonna get that cut in some small pieces. With that done, we're gonna lop the ends off of a carrot Get those peeled and then dice those up real good. Now we're gonna get an onion diced up. Last bit of prep work is to mince up some garlic. Okay, there is a little bit other prep work we have to do. That just hit me as I looked at my broth here. Our last prep step is to get ourselves four cups of chicken broth. We absolutely love the better than bouillon. So get that open, get a good healthy tablespoon or two in there. Fill that up with hot water and get it mixed up. All right, now it's on to the stove. All right, in my Dutch oven is that glorious bacon grease for making that bacon. Now in goes our vegetables. The onions. Ouch the carrots, and I'm gonna pour these away from me so I don't do the same thing again. Learn from your mistakes. Make a mistake. That means you're trying, but learn from it. And celery. We're gonna cook these until they're good and soft, probably about five minutes. Do you think maybe it's possible that you have too much bacon grease in there? That's fine. We have another step later where we're going to drain this along with the meat. It'll be fine. Delicious flavor. Any fawn on the bottom of the pot from the bacon cooking? Get that scraped up. That's flavor. Veggies are looking good. All the fawn is scraped up. Now in goes the garlic. Gonna cook that till it's aromatic. Probably about a minute. I got the smells in my kitchen of both bacon and garlic. It's a good day. Now in goes the ground beef. We're gonna cook that until the pink is gone using our aged ground beef that we make here ourselves. Get that broken up, mixed with the veggies. Not seeing any more pink in there, so I'm gonna take this over to the sink, drain it in a colander, get all that extra bacon fat and grease from the hamburgers out of there. Then I'm gonna return it to the pot, then we'll be ready for the next step. We'll see you then. So we have our hamburger drained back into the Dutch oven, back on the heat. Now you wanna season it the way that you season your burgers, okay? What I have in the recipe is the way that we season our burgers. We have a mix that's made of equal parts of salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. So I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of salt and pepper in here, and then a teaspoon each of garlic powder and onion powder. Get that all stirred up and mixed in. Now about four tablespoons of mustard. We love the Coleman's. And that's about all that's left in this container. What a uh, can of diced tomatoes. And get that all mixed in. Smelling very cheeseburgery. Now our chicken broth goes in. We're gonna bring that to a simmer and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. While that's happening, we're gonna take our cooked bacon and get it all crumbled up. So we've been simmering for 10 minutes. Now the last step. In goes two cups of half and half, four cups of shredded cheddar cheese, and about four tablespoons of flour. We're gonna get all that mixed up and then let this simmer for another 20 minutes. Then we're ready to try. We'll see you then. All right, the soup's all done. It is now time for judgment. So here comes the director because she won't lie to us. She won't. Now she's coming out, hey, put down in the comments, would you try this cheeseburger soup? 
You know, you should try weird things. Uh, that's how I got lucky the first time. Well, it, no, I, she wasn't the weird one. It was me. It was me. Thank you, Jana. Okay, here you go. Bacon cheeseburger soup. First of all, does it taste good? Yes, it tastes very good. Do you get bacon cheeseburger out of that? Yes, it tastes like a freaking cheeseburger. It's weird. Hells yeah. Success. I love when that happens. Hey, thank you so much for joining us. And until we see you next time, fair winds and following seas. Wow, that's weird. <laughs>